take 100 million in two. Hi ladies, it's me. I'm back. Um, like I said in the video I was trying to record, um, I'm not even going to try to pretend to remember how long it's been since I've actually sat down and recorded an actual video, but it's been a long time. Let's just uh, say that. I'm sorry if the quality is horrible. I'm not that the quality on my videos is like amazing to begin with but I'm recording on the iPad because my phone is tripping and yeah so anyways this is going to be a pretty long video um an explanation a more in-depth explanation as to why I've been away from my channel which I've missed you guys dearly and I have been on YouTube just not I haven't had the energy or the motivation to record a video um, if you guys have seen the video that I just posted, which you guys should totally stop this video if you haven't, and go watch that one. It's the one previous to this one. I'm pretty sure I just said that. Anyway, um, I'm pregnant. <laughs> We're pregnant. Steven's over there. Um, he's relaxed and chilling. He didn't really want to be uh, seen, but you might hear him if I ask him questions and stuff. Um... I just haven't had the energy to make myself look presentable and if I do like if I go to work and I throw on some makeup and look halfway decent um, I do it like right before I have to leave so then I don't have time to record a video or I get home too late hence the quality of this video I just needed to get it done um, so yeah I'm pregnant and it's crazy um, I was watching the video where I was four months postpartum and I let you guys know that I had gotten my cycle back at three months. Well, I never got my cycle again after that time. Um, it didn't worry me. I just figured I'm breastfeeding and, you know, your hormones are kind of crazy when you get pregnant and post-pregnancy. <laughs> um, and so I didn't think much of it. I just kind of what I, it wasn't a big deal um I started uh feeling some of the same symptoms I had with Elena and I mean I still didn't think much of it I guess I was just being naive about the whole thing but I I didn't think much of it Steven was actually the one who was a little bit more concerned and he's like we should really go get a pregnancy test and I kept putting it off and putting off because I just really didn't think I was pregnant not that I didn't think I couldn't be I just really didn't think I was pregnant and um and so, finally, I would have to go back on dates, but I, I don't, ain't nobody got time for that right now. So, um, if you guys really want to know, I'll, I'll put it in a comment or something down below. But, anyways, um, at that one Wednesday, um, we were on our way to church, and we stopped by Target. I had to pick up a few things. And as we were walking out, Stephen said, oh, dang, we forgot to get a pregnancy test. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's not a big deal. I don't, you know, it's, it's no big deal. So we went to church, and when we got out of church, I told Stephen, I just, in my heart, I I just knew at that moment. I, I just knew. I don't know what changed, but I just kind of knew. And I think that I had known for a while, but I was maybe in denial. And so we went back to Target um, and grabbed a pregnancy test. And so... We came home and Steven was, came upstairs to put Elena, um, get her ready for bed and I stayed downstairs and I took the pregnancy test, um, before I did it, I mean it had been a little while since I had taken one, um, so I read the instructions, it was, um, a clear, uh, what is it, the clear blue, no not the clear blue digital, the, what's the pink one, do you guys know what I'm talking about, first, re first response. Um, and it said to wait five minutes. And so I peed in a cup and I dipped it and I went to lay it down. And I kid you not, the moment that the urine passed by where the line should be, I saw the line. And I kept looking at the light because I thought there was a glare. I could not believe that there were two lines. Clear as day. There was no doubt about it. And it came up like that and so I immediately started like freaking out but Steven didn't know he was upstairs taking care of Elena and so I had to like get myself together for a second and so 
we came upstairs and went into Elena's nursery and I told Steven I'm like honey it says you have to wait five minutes and so he turned to look at me really quickly and he's like okay and he went back to changing Elena's diaper and when I realized that he wasn't like getting the fact that I was just standing there I said you should probably look at it now though and right then and there he knew and so I if I could reenact I wish I could reenact it without the I've had a falling right now but it was the funniest thing in the world Steven's knees literally and when I say literally like literally buckled beneath him and he had to grasp himself on Elena's dresser slash changing table because he like about fell out literally and it was the funniest I wish I would have recorded it. it was the funniest thing I've ever seen and then for about three hours Steven just laughed he just laughed like a nervous laugh it was just <laughs> just on and off for like three hours I sat on the floor and I cried and I laughed and I I just had so many mix of emotions and I called my best friend who you guys saw in the video who's pregnant also she's three days she's due three days after me we did not plan this that's just how it happened weird I know anyways I called her she didn't know she was pregnant at the time and I just was freaking out I didn't I was so excited um, because I didn't have to go through what I did with Elena so it was such a blessing immediately but then I mean hello let's just be honest here Elena's not even a year old she's gonna be 13 months um, if this baby comes on its due date which baby is due May 26 so I mean two under two Elena's an amazing baby she's such a good baby but I mean she's a little sassy pants and she can be a lot to handle and so to have a newborn and have her it's gonna be insane but now that I've had time to process everything I just honestly I couldn't be happier it's it's the most amazing feeling you think that you can never love another being more than you love your first child and then you get pregnant and your heart just finds a way to love your more you know I, I can't really explain it it's just the most amazing feeling to be a mom has been the most fulfilling thing ever I just feel so complete and I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing um, I, I really can't explain it I'm just incredibly blessed so though I'm still nervous and I'm scared I mean I think that goes for anything in life even when you're having your first child even if you've tried five ten years to have the first one you're still scared because it's, it's uncharted territory and so I mean I think that I'm a good mom do you think I'm a good mom honey you're really quiet they can't hear you yes <laughs> So, I mean, I think I'm doing a great job with Elena, not to toot my own horn, toot toot. But, you know, it's still scary to have two regardless, even if she was a year old, two years old, three years old, it, it, I'd still have two children. And so it's just something I've never experienced. And so it's something that is new and, it, like I said, uncharted territory. Uncharted territory. But... We're both super, super excited. I am exactly 16 weeks pregnant today. Today is Tuesday, December 9th. And I'm, I'm, everything's going good. I'm still nauseous. Um, I, I had to take my glucose test just like I did with Elena early on. But I passed and everything's good. I'll have to take it again when, you know, everyone takes it like at the 26th, 27th week. Um, but yeah, I'm 16 weeks pregnant. Everything is great. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of crazy symptoms or anything like that. Um, I can update you guys like in a monthly pregnancy vlog now that I'm like posting this. Um, we do know the gender of baby and I will post a video once I announce it to my family and friends, which I'll be doing on Saturday. So, um, that'll probably be the next video that goes up. And yeah, so we're super excited. I'm sorry it took so long to get on here and let you guys know. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already known. So if you want to follow me on Instagram um, and get updates 
quicker, um, go ahead and do so. I'll leave my um, Instagram name down below so you guys can follow me. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, if I miss anything, I'm sure there's a ton of stuff I probably missed. Um, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video for the sake of baby number two. Ah, baby number two. That's crazy. Um, but I love you ladies and thank you so much for everything, all your support and all your love. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.